<laughs> All right, anyways, guys, welcome back to another brand new video. Woo! Yeah, let's get this party started now. If you guys don't realize why I'm wearing this instead of a suit, you can guys can go back to the last episode of Saturday Night and see what's happening over there. Why I changed into this, you guys can check that out. But anyways, guys, let's get into the whole thing of why we're uh, talking about gaming news and all that stuff. So, anyways, gaming news will be here once again because literally there's like one thing. You can pre-order Goldberg for WW2K17. Isn't that cool and amazing? I think that's cool because I like Goldberg. He was uh, actually one of my favorite, uh, like, literally wrestlers back in the day. He was an awesome wrestler. I liked him for that reason. So, But uh, anyways, guys, I do want to talk about stuff that is about games, which is E3. E3 is literally around the corner. Holy shit. Like, I'm not even kidding. After the World Warcraft Challenge, pretty much when that movie's coming out, E3 is literally there after four days. Yes, it's going to be June 14th to the 16th. Like, literally, it's like everything is just squished in together this month. Holy shit. Like, there's so many great movies I want to go see as well. There's E3. There's, like, there's too many things I want to do this month. You know what I mean? Plus, I got third anniversary I got to do for the channel. Like, my God. I am so busy this month. <laughs> but, anyways, guys, um, it's going to be really awesome to do E3. Uh, I literally can't wait for E3 as well. Hopefully you guys can't wait for it because like that's one thing for gamers, right? Like especially if you've grown up as a gamer. E3 is like the biggest thing on earth. Like I remember it was just starting out small. Like I, I remember when they first mentioned it, um, like on Spike, uh, I think about five years ago or something like that. I remember it was like not much. I remember it was just like there's small events and then they're like, okay, well we're gonna take a break from this and then maybe later on we'll have another like E three thing on there and well I was like, Man, this is so cool and amazing to see like this convention and all that and like I thought it was just amazing. But like now it's like it's everywhere. It's on the web, you can watch it on the web, IGN, uh, Twitch, everywhere you guys can watch this freaking thing. Like it, it's literally gone berserk now <laughs> to the point where you can Literally watch it anywhere on any media site. It's not just TV anymore. You can literally watch it like on sp on uh, anything. Like it's just that's just the amazing part about it is that you can watch it anywhere now. So, but uh, anyways, let's move on to that. Uh, let's move away from E3 for a minute. But this kind of I guess you could say re resembles gaming, but it's more towards sci-fi stuff because gaming is going on to sci-fi if you think about it because of technology. But anyway, sci-fi stuff that we see in movies and that are actually coming a reality which is kind of funny to say because literally if you guys look at what is science is doing and stuff like that we're literally getting stuff that we can like have for like real life so like we have a cloaking thing that someone made um, that is just like the predator so like like someone actually had like a little uh, device and they put their like hand uh, in front of it and you can't even see through the glass like that that's the amazing part about it is like it literally takes your object that your movement or whatever and it literally is like oh there's nothing there behind it <laughs> so I think it's cool to see that um, and then also too they said that the um, you're trying to create NASA is trying to create like um, like a, a shield or something like um, around uh, the planet Earth, and uh, I think that's cool because it, you know, like it's like a force shield that you see like for spaceships and all that, like in the movies, right? But apparently they're gonna make it like around Earth, and I think that's really cool. But at the same time, you know, uh, I just hope the pollution doesn't like stick in the shield, and then it's like it's gonna just corrupt the whole world, and then we're just poof. Well, there we go. <laughs> but um, but also too, like there's other things as well that are so cool and interesting for sci-fi stuff. Like my God, people, like it's just so amazing to see like how technology has gone so far beyond our like years that we could think of. Like the things that we were thinking about are actually real. Like the people that you know that probably lived like like through like uh, you know pretty much like that grew up years ago, like pretty much starting in the 1900s or whatever, or like you know grew up. And saw like these sci-fi movies or whatever, like back in the day. I like, man, it'd be so cool to see that stuff. And then it's like, if they can't, if like they were still alive, because I know, um, not like there are probably people still alive since the 1900s, like the early 1900s. I'm not talking about like you know like the 60s or 70s or 80s. I'm talking about like you know like way back in the day, you know. But like, like the people that grew up watching this stuff and they enjoy that stuff. Like, I think it'd be really cool to see, like, what they think of now, because they're just like, man, this stuff is, like, literally real now, and, like, that's the cool part about it, so, like, if, 
you know, like if I show my my grandparents or whatever, um, if they were still alive, like and showing them this, they'd be like, wow, like technology has like so much advance, you know. Um, it'd be really awesome to see like what they would think about it. That's the that's like the interesting part. Like I, I know some people, um, like I, I've talked to about technology, like they brought it up. With it, like I know they say that you know technology and all that stuff isn't like what it was like back in the day, and like you know we're getting more easier and all that stuff. Blah, blah, blah. But like literally though, if we just look at what technology is in general and like how it's like you know changing you know our lives and and like the way um, like it's helping out, you know what I mean? Like they would probably think it's cool. Like if they look at the sci-fi way, like if there are sci-fi people. Those are the people that would enjoy this stuff. I, I, that's what I'm trying to point out is the people that like sci-fi stuff and see that. So, but yeah. But anyways, let's get away from that and let's talk about something that involves sci-fi technology stuff, which is like, you know, animation and stuff to make real life, uh, you know, objects come to life in movies. Now, pretty much it is TMNT Out of the Shadows I'm talking about. Now, this I'm going to point out, I know like if you watched my last review for the reboot one, I literally said it was crap. I really said it was terrible. Don't watch this movie because it was bad. <laughs> like, I went to go see the reboot movie because I was like, like, you know, everybody was giving it a chance. They're like, okay, hey, maybe, maybe they fixed up their problems. Maybe they did. Sure, they fixed it up a bit, but they didn't, you know, fix everything up in the first movie. So, like, everybody that goes to see this movie, like, literally, this movie takes the cake. Like, literally beats the reboot one any freaking day. It has so much reference of the 80s classic TV show from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles from the 80s. And I'm like, my God, yes! This is what I want to see because I like, I actually did watch. Like, uh, sure, I was born in the 90s, but, like, I remember growing up, I actually did get to see the old Turtles. And uh, it was so cool and marvelous to, like, literally watch this, you know, um, I was growing up and watching the show because, like, it, it was just so marvelous to watch, like, the old classic show and then see references in this movie that literally the whole movie is probably referenced to the show. And I like it that way because, uh, you know, the whole point of what they said was they want to make this show uh, literally great, you know, for the fans of TMNT. So that's why I was glad that they brought, like, the 80s format back because that's the one thing... Um, I, I really, you know, enjoy and appreciate because it's like they're aiming towards fans that are like older now, and, but they still enjoy TMNT because like who doesn't enjoy TMNT, right? It, they're all like great characters to watch and grow up with. It's like DBZ, you know what I mean? Like DBZ is a great show when we grew up as kids and now they brought it back and started, a, you know, a brand new series for it and... It's still as good as it was before. Sure, it's a little bit short in, you know, the the episodes because it's not like they're stalling every freaking episode, but it's still great, and, and that's why it keeps that format great, and, that, and that's what I'm pr trying to say about TMNT. It's the same thing. So I'm glad they kept that, so that that's the one thing I like, so. But anyway, speaking of TMNT, um, I just realized and remembered that um, actually IGN talked to um, pretty much the director and all that that we're making, TMNT, they actually said, would Transformers do a crossover because of Michael Bay, right? Because he's director of Transformers and the producer of TMNT. So they asked, would there be a crossover with TMNT and Transformers? And he, the guy didn't say no, but he said that once the stories unfold and when they finish their stories for TMNT and Transformers, there could be. They didn't want to say yes because if they say yes, then everybody's going to freak out and be like, oh, God, you know what I mean? Um, but it looks like there is, like, a green light for it, but, like, we're not going to see it for a couple of years. Um, probably down the line, maybe, like, 20, 25, maybe, depending on how many movies they have to make for TMNT and Transformers. Who knows? Like, this could be the last movie they're making for Transformers. I think it is because we're getting to, like, the huge boss. But you never know. I'm just saying, you never know. But for TMNT starting out, we're not going to see probably for a couple more years uh, for a crossover. So it's going to be interesting to see how that's going to play out in the crossover. And let me know in the comments below what you guys think about that. The crossover of TMNT and Transformers meeting up with each other. Uh, I think it'd be interesting because I could see like Mikey like going with Bumblebee and like them just like having like this one like 
buddy relationship where it's like that because like Mike is like this a uh, hippie dude who's like jazzed out and says like cool like you know pretty much like totally rad and all that stuff. I think that's cool. And then like Bumblebee is sort of like that, but like he's growing up. And, and plus like in the last movie, Walt with the the Wahlberg guy, um, I I found like. Like, he was kind of like that teenager stage. So, I, I can see, like, Bumblebee relating towards um, Mikey a lot. So, that that could be interesting to see that, too. But, but anyways, let's just get to movies. Let's just move on from the whole TMNT thing, even though we do have to talk about it one more time. I'm sorry about this. But anyways, TMNT is out this weekend. Go check out the movie. It's phenomenally amazing. Um, I enjoyed it. Let's just go with that. And, like I said, so many references to the 80s show. I loved it. Um, but anyways, the next one, Me Before You. Now, this is a romance movie. Do you like romance movie? Well, you can go see this movie. But if you're a gamer like me and not too big in romance movie, this is not for you. But I'm just here to tell the movies. Um, if you guys don't know what romance movies are, well, it's, it's pretty much simple. Guy, girl, meet up. They, they fall in love. That's pretty much the whole freaking story. Uh... <laughs> Even though it's like it's different in every movie, but it's all the same pretty much to sum it up. But anyways, the, the last one is Pop Star Never Stop, Never Stopping. Now this is pretty much like the Lonely Island movie, but it's just they called it Pop Star instead. So it's it's a comedy about a rock star guy who got popular and blah 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 and all that stuff. But it's more of like a comedy for the lone uh, the Lonely Island crew. That that's pretty much what the whole you know show's about. So. But other than that, that's it for now, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching. This is the cool part about the Saturday nights is that I get to tell you guys about cool things and tell you about the movies and, and my opinion about the movies, too. So, um, and, and plus also gaming, too. Why, why would I forget about gaming? Because I love gaming. I love movies. I, I love a lot of stuff. <laughs> Let's just go with that. My buddy even says I like too many things that I don't put a lot of negative to. And, and I, I can see that. I can understand, but I, I try to look at the, like, to understand, like, what it's about, because I don't want to go in and be like, oh, well, this was crap, and then, like, I don't understand the thing about it. I rather understand it first before saying that it's crap. That, that's the whole point, because, like, a lot of people say, well, you shouldn't go and see something that you don't understand what it's about, and blah, 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 because if, if you call it crap, and blah, 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 because of that, but then maybe you don't know the whole story about why it's like that, so that's why I always look at it as, like, try to understand it, before you criticize. That, that's pretty much what I learned too. So, But anyways, that's it for now. Hopefully you guys enjoy watching Saturday Night Live Action Game right here, right now. I am about to end this for you guys. I know it's sad to say that, but anyways, that's pretty much how things go on Saturday nights and pretty much for any video. So, anyways guys, have a great day, great night, every time you watch this guy. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you guys, of course, in the next videos. Peace out, everybody! Have a great day.